The United Nations nuclear watchdog says Ukraine's Saporizhia facility has been cut off from its last external electricity supplies. Europe's largest nuclear power plant is now relying only on a reserve power line. Controlled by the Russian forces, the station is located near the front line in southern Ukraine. A team of experts from the International Atomic Energy Agency is monitoring the site, which was damaged in the fighting. It's certainly a slightly elevated cause for concern than we had previously. Um, I still believe that the chances of some sort of widespread nuclear incident are pretty small. Um, but the issue with the power lines is that you require electrical power in order to provide cooling to the reactor, that that would be to stave off a sort of meltdown type situation. Uh, and what we had is the, so you have the main power lines, which are now off. You have a reserve power line, which is where we are at the moment. Uh, and then you have backup diesel generators as your sort of last main option, if you like. So obviously we've knocked out one of the three. Uh, so I think, you know, that raises the level a little bit. group of seven finance ministers agreed on Friday to impose a price cap on Russian oil. They aim to slash revenues for Moscow's war in Ukraine while keeping crude flowing to avoid price spikes. The price cap per barrel is still being discussed. In a statement, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said the cap would put downward pressure on global energy prices, quote, while denying Putin revenue to fund his brutal war in Ukraine. The aim is to introduce it starting in December, timed with planned EU sanctions on Russian oil. The ministers are seeking a broader coalition of countries to buy Russian oil products at or below the price cap. It was the final farewell to the man who changed the world. In the columned hall of Moscow's House of Unions, Mikhail Gorbachev lay in state, a steady stream of mourners filing past his open casket. There was a guard of honour, but the last leader of the Soviet Union had not been honoured with a full state funeral, a sign that today's Kremlin has little interest in guarding Mr Gorbachev's legacy. Many Russians blame Gorbachev for the fall of the USSR, the collapse of their superpower. And yet out on the streets, Muscovites were queuing up to pay their respects. NASA has called off today's moon rocket launch. It's the second time this week the launch has been postponed. Technicians were unable to fix a fuel leak. The rocket was due to take to the skies from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida within hours. The next generation craft is the most powerful ever built by NASA. It was set to be the first launch for the agency's Artemis program, which aims to eventually return a human crew to the moon. In this case, it had to do with a valve that connects to the rocket that sends liquid hydrogen in extremely cold temperatures. And because hydrogen is the smallest element there is, it can leak through almost anything. And the first time they tried this, they had problems, the second and third. So again, today, when they tried to get everything to go together, it was a leak. They tried option A, option B, then option C was option A again, and they just could not get the rocket to load safely. So eventually they said, scrub for today. Meanwhile, India has reportedly raised with the United Kingdom the issue of arms transfer to Ukraine by Pakistan using a British aircraft. Last month, the alleged ferry of weapons which might cast a bit of a shadow or India's defence ties with Britain has now become one of the key points of disagreements between London and New Delhi. Now, according to reports, the Indian government has raised the issue of arms transfer from Pakistan to Ukraine last month for a period of at least about 12 days. Now, the Pakistani manufactured war weapons that reached Ukraine are now being used on the battlefield. And according to reports, Rawalpindi's Noor Khan Air Base was used as an air bridge to transfer the weapons.
Tens of thousands of protesters took to the streets in Prague in a massive show of protest against the Czech government on Saturday. Protesters from the far right and far left joined forces to rally against the country's government. The protesters demanded the resignation of the current coalition government led by the conservative prime minister Petr Fiala, criticizing it for a number of issues including its western oriented policies. An estimated 70,000 people called on the ruling coalition to do more to control the soaring energy prices and voiced their opposition to the European Union and the NATO. A small plane is down and its pilot is in police custody after threatening to crash into a Walmart in Tupelo, Mississippi. The plane started flying over Tupelo around 5 a.m. Saturday and was in the air for a few hours. The pilot had been flying very low in random circles as the residents in the area were asked to evacuate. At 5.08 a.m. this morning, Corey Wayne Patterson stole a Beechcraft King Air C-90 twin-engine aircraft and took off from the Tupelo airport today. We do know Patterson has some flight instruction. We do not believe he is a licensed pilot. That is still ongoing to discover that. He is an employee of Tupelo Aviation and has been for 10 years, so he has access to these aircraft. Police said the negotiators were eventually able to convince Patterson to land the aircraft. Once the plane landed, Patterson was taken into custody and his condition is currently unknown. At least 19 civilians were killed in an attack by radical Shabaab Islamists on a road in central Somalia on Friday night. According to local officials and clan leaders, at least eight passenger minibuses and trucks traveling on a road were intercepted, bundled and set on fire, killing their passengers. The attackers are said to have abducted several other people whose fate remains unknown. The attack took place two weeks after a spectacular assault by the Al-Qaeda-affiliated Al-Shabaab on a hotel in the capital Mogadishu that left at least 21 people dead and 117 injured. <laughs> 